So the goal of this project, uh, which is titled Unraveling Vesta, uh, it's a reference to the difficult problem of unraveling spherical maps of uh, objects like planets and asteroids into two-dimensional maps that humans can easily understand and sort of reference scientifically. So, so the challenge we were given is in the solar system category, and it was to create a digital generic online tool that you can use to arbitrarily or according to natural features, modify a three-dimensional map of the asteroid Vesta into a two-dimensional map with uh, something called constant scale natural boundaries. So this is a kind of, uh, was a kind of new concept to me and uh, my team. So, oh, and this was uh, to be developed so that it could be implemented in a thing called Vesta Trek, you can, which you can see below. Uh, it's an interactive online platform uh, where you can sort of spin around a 3D model of Vesta, use a two-dimensional map, and uh, apply various filters to look at scientific data. Um, and it's publicly available. So what is a constant scale natural boundary map? It basically takes continental boundaries, uh, geographic features, or other data from, say, elevation or, or thermal uh, data, and uses that to divide a surface map into different areas and then sort of split it out. So imagine taking an orange and then unpeeling it according to, say, a pattern of, uh, of scratches on, for instance. So you can see there's some techniques that allow you to get a rather round and con convex map on the left, or even a more extreme map on the right. Uh, and both have their advantages. You can center them at the poles, at the equator, or anywhere, really. So why would we want to look at Vesta? It's just a little asteroid. Vesta is actually the second largest asteroid in the asteroid belt. Uh, and it has a huge history of collisions and impacts that make it really notable. Uh, and a great topic for scientific exploration. Um, and future missions may actually go either visit it or deposit a, um, a kind of uh, sample retrieval device. Um, and it also has irregular non-spherical geometry. So with a sphere, it's rather hard to convert it directly to a map that's foldable, a closed boundary. Um, so it's, it's more interesting in that, stuff, in that regard. So this is some detail on the uh, southern pole of Vesta. It's got a large impact crater called the Venenia Basin at the, at the bottom, which is thought to have been uh, thought to have been formed roughly two billion years ago. And then there's a newer one called the Rhea Silvia Basin, which is one billion years old. So you can see that these two clearly didn't happen at the same time. So the techniques for doing this, for developing such a map software, is to uh, first take the data that NASA gathered from the Dawn mission when it orbited Vesta, and then convert that to map tiles and actually um, three-dimensional data on the, on the elevation of Vesta. Um, and the tools that you need to do this are rather extensive. Uh, there's, uh, there's a several JavaScript things called CZM node and Dojo, which were used in the Vesta track. Um, and we looked into those and were used several other tools to sort of mimic that technique. Ultimately, it's a rather difficult subject to handle, especially computationally. Most of this map generation is being done by humans. So, thank you.